that you are going to need to start this project is a piece of paper, scissors, a pin, and of course the fabric of your choice. You're going to need a thread and a needle that matches your fabric and or sewing machine, and optional a ribbon. Then you're going to need American Girl pants, optional a button, and also optional some liquid stitch which is also glue. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to take your American Girl sized pants and you're going to flip them inside out. Now you're going to line up the edge of your pants and then the bottom of your pants with the side of the paper and the bottom of the paper just like I'm doing in this clip. And then you're just going to mark it onto the paper and cut it out. Next, you're going to want to take your fabric and fold it in half. So as you can see, the creased edge is at the end of this clip. And then you're going to take your template and you're going to line up the side of your template with the creased side of your fabric. And then you're going to trace it out and you're going to want to do that twice so you have two sides for your pants. Make sure to leave a little bit of room at the top and the bottom as you can see here to leave some room for your seam. two pieces you can put them together and see that the pants are already forming. Uh, 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 uh. The next step is to open up one of your pant legs and then you're going to fold up the bottom of your pants twice to hem them and then you're going to sew it straight across with a straight stitch. Since this isn't a sewing video I'm not going to show you guys how I sewed it. If you want to see any sewing videos then just search them on YouTube. There's tons of them that you guys can check out. Once you hemmed the bottom of each pants leg, you're going to fold each piece inside out. Then you're going to want to sew along the non-crease side, only the bottom half though, not the top half. Once you sew both pieces, then it gets a little complicated. You're going to want to fold one side right side out, and then you're going to want to tuck it inside the other pants leg. So it's kind of hard to explain, so you're just going to have to watch and see how it looks. It's not that hard once you get to doing it. So as you can see, one side is right side out, one side is inside out, and you're going to put the right side out in the inside out piece. Once everything is lined up, you're going to want to sew along the edge. As you can see, you're not going to sew them all together, you're going to sew the edges, just like this. I kept the top of them loose because I thought I wanted to put a button, but I just don't recommend doing a button. I just went ahead and sewed the rest up at the end, so just go ahead and sew the entire thing up instead of keeping a little gap at the top, unless you do want a button. 
Next step, you need to flip your pants inside out and then you're going to hem the top of your pants just like you did at the bottom. And this part right here is when I went ahead and sewed the back slit up, but like I said, if you didn't do that, then don't even worry about it. And then that's the point where you're also going to want to put your button if you're putting one or velcro or anything. Once you make your pants, I recommend trying it on your doll to see how they fit. And if they're too loose, then you could always tighten them and add a button or something. Or if they're too tight, then you might just need to make, remake the pants. Like you can see on my um, video, there is a slit, but I did sew that up in the end because my pants were a little bit too big. You could always leave your pants like this and be done, or you could fold them up into capris. But I wanted to add a little bit more style to the bottoms of them, so I added this glitter ribbon with my liquid stitch. You could also use hot glue, you could sew the ribbon on, but since it has glitter, I didn't want to sew it. And here is the final product. I hope it was easy for you guys to understand, and if you have any other clothing requests, then please comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!